Everyone's talking about the World Cup, talking about football, talking about who's going to win, everything. So we thought today we'd do some World Cup vocabulary with you and how to talk about football in English. Well, as most of you know, Colombia beat Uruguay and they advanced through to the semi-finals, which is against Brazil this Saturday. So everyone's kind of looking forward to that. Big game. So since Colombia are away and Brazil are at home, I feel like Brazil will be more comfortable and will probably win just on the basis that it's in Brazil. So they have the home advantage. So I believe Brazil is going to win by penalties. Who do you think is going to win? I'm going with Colombia. I think Colombia is going to win. Um, so predictions, when we talk about who we think is going to win, we use be going to. Um, sometimes you'll hear like Brazil is going to win because it's one country, but sometimes you might hear the team like they. If you use they, remember, has to be they are going to win. This time they have a very, very good team with amazing players. Um, Name three. Falcao, <laughs> Rodriguez, and you know the guy with the crazy hair? No. He's not playing? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> they have an amazing team and they beat Uruguay, they beat that guy, the one that bites everyone. I hate that guy. Um, you don't even know what he's like. Have you not been on the internet? Like I the did last... not tell you, I don't, I don't follow football. I I, you know very... I don't follow football, but you know that Suarez is the guy that bites everyone. I didn't even know his name. I, I, I only knew... Have you not been on Facebook? So yeah, Colombia beat Uruguay and now they advanced to the quarterfinals. When you advance to the next round, we say go through. Go through means advance. So Colombia went through to the quarterfinals. So if Colombia beat Brazil, they will go through to the semifinals. Is that um, right? <laughs> yeah, cool. It's, Quarter semi final, right? Yeah. And England didn't go through to anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, England lost straight away. So, what we'd say is England went out. England are out. Yeah. We're not in the competition yeah. anymore. They are out of the cup. Wow. So, what do you think the score is going to be for this? Brazil are going to win 2 1. I don't, but if that happens, so how can we say this? Colombia 1, Brazil 2. We could say, using past tense, Brazil 1. Or we can say, Brazil 1. Or I could say Brazil 1 against Colombia. Or Brazil beat Colombia. If I say win, that's not necessary. But if I say beat, then I have to say the other team. It could be like, Brazil beat Colombia 2-1. That's how you say the score. Or I could say the other way round. Again in past. Colombia lost. Again, 2-1. Colombia lost 2-1. I don't say Colombia lost 1-2. Nev we never say that. We always do the higher number first and the lower number next. If you say win, beat or lose, we understand what the situation is. So what do you predict the scores are going to be, Alistair? Personally, I really like it. It's really exciting when the scores are the same. If the scores are the same, you can say Colombia and Brazil drew. Or, that's past tense of Draw. So you could say it was a draw. They had the same score, so you could say Colombia drew with Brazil or Colombia tied with Brazil. But that cannot happen in this game. One person has to win while the other has to lose. So if it is a draw, so if the score is 2 2 at the end, it will go through to penalties. And penalties are when you get uh, footballers to line up and they kick the ball at the goalie. How many penalties do you get? It's, I think it's the best out of five. I have no idea. <laughs> Again, you're asking the wrong person. 
You could say Colombia drew with Brazil or Colombia tied with Brazil, but again, you could also say it was two all. So it's the same score. It was two all, it was one all. That means they had the same score. It means they tied. If the score was zero to Colombia and one to Brazil, so you wouldn't say Colombia lost one zero, you would say Colombia lost one nil. So nil is zero. So you could say uh, two nil, three nil. Zero is known as nil. My prediction, Brazil beat Colombia one nil. Go Brazil. Okay, so our question for you guys and let us know in the comments is, who do you support? Support means who you want to win. For example, I support Colombia. England are out, so yeah, now I support Colombia. But I support Brazil. And teams at home, so you have different cups. You have the FIFA Cup. Is FIFA a real thing or is that a game? <laughs> <laughs> who do you support in the Premier League? I don't have a clue who's in the Premier League. I don't even know which country that's in. That's England. That's Arsenal, Chelsea and... Manchester United and stuff like that. Uh, who's winning at the moment? I have no idea. <laughs> Let us know who you support. <laughs> Tell us in the comments. We'll see you in the next class. Bye. The beach should have a long sound. Al decir playa, la vocal se alarga mucho más que al decir zorra. Yeah, I wouldn't be wearing a suit. Um... Hey! Now we're ready for the beach. Well, except one thing. What? If we're on a beach, we'd have some beer. Beer? Beer. Pants. Trousers. These are pants. You wear those? Are you like five years old? Whatever. Next.